Um, okay, YouTubers, um, <coughs> hello, um, today I'm going to show you, um, alright, sorry, I'm not sure long, but okay, but, uh, today I will be showing you how to, um, basically, um, set up Ubuntu, um, in, basically, in, in, uh, in BIOS on your Mac. I'm ringing iBook, it took me forever to figure this out, but I finally figured it out. So, you know, one thing that I thought I should do by is start telling you how I got there. How to do it. Because it's like, I looked, well, I looked, I looked basically all over the internet, never could find it. Right, so we're just going to go right, right there. So we're going to start it up. Um, and you kind of want to do this before, but, um, okay. Like me, like I have, like, like a login. There's two CDs you're basically going to need. Okay, this is my X Ubuntu, and this is just Ubuntu, the new one, starting up. Okay, uh, right now, the reason why I wanted to show you this is because we're not going to really um, be using this Ubuntu. Um, I'm telling you, like, if they get the truth. Actually, no, wait, we'll, we'll probably use it. Okay, but basically, what you want to do is I'll do this in another video, but what you got to do. You gotta download Ubuntu. This is for mostly iBooks. I, uh, people who are having trouble with this. All right. What you need to do is you need to basically get um, some software for um, basically you need, you need to download Ubuntu, and you just need to basic. It's gonna be like an ISO. It'll be big enough to fit on a CD. So you want to basically put it um, on like a CD. And we're gonna and, um, right now. What you're going to need to do is I'm gonna show you right now. I'm gonna press this button. What you wanna do is whenever you get up up to the login screen right here, what you wanna do is you wanna press in you wanna press that button, you wanna you wanna put this in. Super. Okay, let me see the ways how to do it. I found this on Ubuntu. Basically what you want to do is um let me press this. this back to now. Okay. So we're going to go to restart, you're gonna to wanna to press all two and this. Never you hear the little beep sound. Okay, so here we go. One minute. Come. Okay, there we go. So we so we so we press both Alt and F two. Okay, here you go. You should get this menu, menu right here. See this little you see this little 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 little, little disc. You want to press that. So you're going to press that. Okay, I haven't really, I, I haven't really tested this out that much. I just, I went to like the screen, decided I wanted to show you. And we gotta let this load. I think for about like a minute. Okay, so I'm gonna press this. You want to go on to next, I think. Let's see, it's working. Here we go. It says, "Welcome to Ubuntu Loose This is a Ubuntu Live C ROM built on this. And the default is live. Okay, so we want to push live. Go to kernel. This is a live CD." Um, probably like in another video, I'll show you Ubun uh, X Ubuntu. I don't know, because see, what I, what, I, what I want to do is I want to uh, install it on the printer. Okay. Pretty sure Ubuntu should be loading up for about any minute. And, and here's the thing is you do need. You do need. A Pacific version for Ubuntu for this. Here it is. Closer than that. You do need a Pacific version for this. Okay. But in another video, I will show you how to basically download that version and put and put it to a CD. Okay, this is going to take at least about like a couple of minutes to load. Okay, but um, 
but we will be using this seed. This is Xubuntu. Oh, no, okay, sorry. This is Xubuntu right here. Basically, and this is Ubuntu 10.04. I didn't know that this was really like a live CD, so I just downloaded like the first version that came in into mind. I'm gonna see how this thing works out. I'm gonna see if it's what like I really want. Cause see, I'm gonna I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do like a video on basically installing it. Yeah, this is working, but you do need to go basically into that, which all you do is you. Is you restart it, you wait for the sun, and you press Alt and then F2. Okay, so you can hear it working, I'm pretty sure. And, um. It, I, I, I don't know how long this thing is supposed to take, because I mean, I've never worked Ubuntu. Hello? Yeah. You know, and so basically, I just I, I figured out how to do it. 